good evening everyone thank you so much for checking in thank you so much for the new members i really appreciate i really 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 appreciate your support so this evening i'm uh, extremely happy yeah because uh i'm in a new 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 environment for those people who are in this channel they might not know where exactly i am yeah because uh I'll tell you, because maybe in a few previous videos you have not been watching them, but today you'll see where I am. So this is Zach Discovery. Thank you so much for checking in. Welcome once again. And uh, we really appreciate everything that you're doing to support our people, to support our community. And I pray always that God to bless you abundantly. So this evening, uh, I decided to just pay a visit to one of our lovely, 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 lovely guy, lady that... Uh, you people made sure that you uplifted her life through your hard earnings, through your savings, through your blessings, and you placed her in a place that uh, maybe she never thought of one day be. So, today for the new members, I'm in a compound of Mama Felistas. Felistas compound. Yeah, so it has been quite a while that uh, I visited this compound. For those people who are not in Fellow the Boys channel, and... Uh, if you're not Tenga Junior's channel, you're not in Joint Hungry Life's channels, please check out those channels, guys. They're wonderful channels with wonderful content. So you might not have heard about this lady called Mama Felistas. So that is how we usually refer to these people that you people usually help. We have Mama Felista, we have Mama Fred, we have Mama Maria, we have Baba Godfrey, and so forth. Because we refer them to their children's name. That is how we call people here. It's not good sometimes to call people direct in terms of their names so we respect them in terms of the children they have so i mean mama felicia's compound i'm going to today decided to visit these people and from here i'll be taking again to another wonderful person that you need to catch up about so everything you see here guys this is your work and uh, some of them now they have improvised yeah for example this rack yeah i would love to know where they are because uh, I want exactly to know how she's doing, how her children are faring on, because it has been a while. It has been a while. Yeah, since we came here. Maybe fell all the way past here because they're neighbors. And um, I don't know, but I'll have to know. So there are quite changes that are in this company. For example, you remember the last time we were here, there was a certain garden in this place. There was a certain garden. There's a garden that I used to call the hanging garden because... Uh, it, it was in fact floating. You can see some of these nails. This one. They were nailed on a somewhere here, then another one there. Then we have some quite a number of vegetables. We have the spinach, we have the kills, we have the jute mallows, we have the cowpeas. Those are quite a number of uh, the vegetables that were grown there. But you see now it has been demolished. I think those are some of the changes that have taken place here. Yeah, the, also I remember the last video I did, I was told that this uh, well does not have water. But I think what happened, either they washed it because I can see some sand here. Washing it means that uh, they had to clean it and dig it a little bit deeper so that they can get the, the, the rarest water table. And also be, it has maybe water now because in fact it has been raining heavily recently. Yeah, that is it. So those are some of the changes. The, the, the bananas in fact they are doing very well. Very well. I think they have even harvested some because I remember the last time I came here they had one. I think they have harvested one or two. Yeah, we will come to learn about that. So, yeah, the hedges, the hedges, they need to be trimmed. I think this guy, okay, I wish Elija, is it Elija? Yes, knew about to trim this. In fact, they make a very good fence around. Eh? They make a very good fence. I wish they could have trimmed. So some of the fruits that we brought... Yeah, some of the fruits that we brought, let me check, that you people purchased for this family. Yeah, we have the mango. In fact, it's doing very well. Very, very, very well. I think maybe this season it might be producing. Yeah, I think even the avocado, but that one we let, we found it here. The avocado is one of it. So the other, the other fruits. Yeah, I think, I think one. Either, well, are they here or, or let's go to the children and we'll be all about them. So the other one that we had here were even this one. 
Yeah, so let's hear. So, Felista, Mambo Vipman. Kwani Wamenda Wapia? Mambe. Manu Menewe. Mara, Ukopo. Eh, Kabisa. Yo Matunda Mbona Java. Nimbich. Nimbich yo. Mama na umu. Tangeli. Jumatani. Jumatani. Kwa nisi jana tumekutana na mama. Hey, jana mama. Hey, jana ilikuwa jumatano. Haa, ah, ndade ugu ha. Mm. Sasa kaenda kalala ugu. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mama, si mama ugu amalajo. Amalajo jibitari. Anatibiwa. Atapona. Manu naenda shule? Mm. Ah, unasoma, unasoma class gani? Ya yeah, ofelo. Yeah, Siyo ata class one. So guys, I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm getting uh, bad news from the, the daughter. Yeah, Mama Felista. Now, th this is the Felista girl. When you hear Mama Felista, this is the girl. We have Manu. We have, this is the cousin. This is the this is uyu sasa anaita Manu aje uyu Anko yeah this young one calls Manu Anko because na umeanza kuongea na huku unaongea eh so she calls Felista auntie because Felista and the mother they are they are their sisters uh, so unfortunately i've not found the mother because i'm told she's sick in fact i was asking her because yesterday morning we met Maybe she was going to the hospital that time. Yeah, I think she was going to the hospital. All right. And now that she's clicking, because I found her going toward the hospital. There's that hospital that is in Yabohans. It's a private hospital. So she was hospitalized. That is the bad part of it. She's in the hospital. So they are only remaining here. Uh, the sister, the boy, Manu, and Elijah, they're the people that are managing here. Kuna mteja pale Felista? Kuna mteja? Maraba. <laughs> Uko poa? Yeah, so. Yeah, all of us guys, I'm requesting that we pray for that lady. Is the the sole winner, the breadwinner of this family. So she has to do one, two, three for the family to feed. But unfortunately, so from here, maybe I'll go and check out or I'll call her. Yeah, depending because from here it's in fact getting late. From here I'm heading somewhere so that uh, we can also check on another person. That uh, we don't need to forget these people because remember when we do some projects here for example. This was now fellow the boy's first main project. The entire of what you're seeing in this compound. The entire of it. First main fellow the boy's project. So we cannot forget them that because now you people really help me a lot. This is a shop. Uh, they have their structures, they have solars, they have quite a lot of stuff. Others when going inside you'll be shocked for those people who are new. But it's good sometimes so that we can be passing to know exactly how they are faring on. Yeah, you see now for example, if they couldn't have come here, we wouldn't have not got. Uh, we would have met on the road and uh, I say, how are you doing? And she tell me I was sick and without my, pray, my knowledge, I... But uh, one thing I've learned about the family is that Manu went to school. He's in PP1. Sindio? I call PP1, eh? Yeah, so Felista Alienda grade? Grade 5 and Elijah grade 6. Good. So the children are going to school. And that's why I always say that you people have really, 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 really helped these families. So my request this time, this evening, is that you pray for this lady so that she gets well soon. She gets well. She gets well soon. And uh, one thing that is make term, one of you, the MD, wherever you are, thank you so much because these are some of the beneficiaries of the, the health insurance. You registered them. Thank you so much. In fact, it has been quite a long time since we heard from you. I don't know whether you're watching our videos or you're just uh, you're relaxing away from uh, the social media. A lot might have happened. But uh, from my sincere part of my heart, it says I can say thank you. I'm sure the card, it's soon becoming coming to an end because we registered for a whole year. 
I'll be asking her whether it's still, I think it's still active. Yeah, that is the same, same card that is helping quite a lot of even other widows somewhere. For example, in Michebe village, we registered quite a lot. Even Mama Baraka was registered. That's the, the work of MD. So thank you so much. So Felista, Mama atapona. Wacha tibiwa lafu wakikuwa sawa. Duke kwa sawa. Vitu viko tu sawa. Amu mekulo memaliza. Manu, unakula bado mandazi? Mandazi ukuli? <laughs> Na mama alipanda mahindi? Hajapanda lakini alinua. Alright, alright. So guys, that is it. Friends are the only around. I think now I'll stop there without interrogating them a lot. But I was confirming whether she bought all the input that fellow gave her the money. She's saying yes. So we, all of us, we pray for that lady to get well. So it you do not leave. I want to take you to another lady that your people would want to see how she's doing. Thank you. All right, guys. So I've re arrived again at where I come. So you know, it's good sometimes that I be reminding you exactly where we are. Yeah, I told you I'm going to visit another lovely, lovely, lovely family. Yeah, for the new members, you might not know where I am. But for the returning subscribers, for those people who have been together in this journey for a long time. Yeah, you have already known in this compound. So, this lady, I, one time I told you that she's a lady that uh, you'll never get her call. You'll never... Uh, wake up in the morning and you find her at the doorstop was telling you, oh, I do not have this, I don't know. What she does, she just, uh, those people are playing, do not mind. Those children are playing. You can see the kind of beating that she does. In fact, they are playing. That is the sister and the brothers. Now, so, this is the lady who does, okay, she struggles with the hardship she has, but she minds her own business. For example, you watch a bunny, you picky picky, see you can go here. Watch a cabisa talk up. Doka kwa yo picky picky cabis. Yeah, and then then. So, but let me say that uh, thank you so much for ensuring that this lady was brought to a decent home. When you come in the morning around seven, you need to not meet her because you'll be told that this lady has got to look for something to do. Yeah, most of the things she does is maybe washing people's clothes. There's a time she used to cook uh, mandazi and they used to sell at Mama, at Marwa's uh, construction. You remember before the party? There's a family she used to help in cooking mandazi. She's good by then cooking mandazi. Uh, in fact, there's a day that I was asking her why she did not start that business of cooking mandazi. So she was saying, oh, the capital, because she needs to call quite a lot of stuffs to start that business because she needs some a, a deep frying pan she needs a spoon and she needs uh, like 20 liters of cooking oil she needs maybe a, a whole uh, a bell yeah woman yeah so she needs like a bell of uh, baking flour and she needs charcoal to start off she needs a big jiko so she said it's hard for her so i'm sure that that is maybe something that if she's given maybe a chance she can do so who am I talking about? Who am I coloring the truth about? This Mama Joel. For those people who have never seen where Mama Joel lives, she lives here. She used to be homeless. She used to sleep in people's sitting rooms. She used to sleep, the son used to sleep somewhere else from the mother. But when you gave her this decent place that was going to check in how they're doing, they moved in. By then she was... Nani anakuja? Joy la kwa ndani? Anafanya usafi. So by then there's a time she was sick. And, uh, and remember, that's among the people that were helped. In terms of the health insurance, it is this lady. So, but uh, her health insurance is that she had a problem because we could not register in her own ID because she does not have ID. But today, know whether she has. This is Joel now. So when you hear Mama Joel, it's Joel. Wajiba. Matoka Sule. Okay. How is school? Fine. It's fine. So you're washing? The school uniform. So this ball has water? Yes. Oh. Mama Joel? 
Tuko wangapi hapa? Mimi na nani? Ah uko sawa kabisa. Uko sawa. Najani kwa na kujua unatuona kweli? Kumbe unatuona uko mzima? Eh mbona ni kama ndio umefika? Mhm. Sio ndani umelala. Mambo ya rasonga. Kabisa. Mguu umepona. Mbona niona kama umefura bado? Sadi umo ndani kuna giza ama kuna steam. Uh, this is now the mama Joel. Hivi jina lako kabisa nani mama Joel? Gati na. Gati penina. Eh? Gati. Ah, kwa nini una majina ya kikulia tu? Napoli. Napoli. Oh, her name is Polly. Her real name is Polly. Do you do know your mother's name? Polly ni Gati. Polly ni Gati na. <laughs> okay, her real name is Pauline. By the way, it's the first time I'm hearing that name. Yeah, because we are used to Joel, eh? Mama Joel. Tumezoea sana Mama Joel, Mama Joel, Mama Joel. So, nimepita ni juu naendeleaje? Unajua tangile siku ya uliniambia na umu kaenda hospitali. Sijajua kama ulipona kabisa. Mm. So that leg you are seeing she's uh, trying to show this the time she had a wound. Eh? So remember I was talking about insurance uh, that uh, we had to register it at Mama Fellows National ID. So whenever she gets sick, we just tell her to contact Mama Felix, that's fellow the boy. She's uh, she takes her to the hospital. She's treated. Like now she was taken to the hospital, she has been given medicated. She's now okay. In fact the wound has healed. Hebu tuone. Aha. Aha. This place was very sick this one. That was a big wound. Niko na uja na ama ni kuoga. Au kuoga lakini maji yako hapa nje ya maji hiyo. All right. Nimefurahi. Kama umepona nimefurahi sana. Sana. Tell me about uh, the rent. When is the rent expiring? Yeah. March. March. That is very true. Is it still 2000 per month? 2000, eh? All right. So someone wanted to know that, eh? Because uh, then also I was told that um, there's a time fellow the boy came here and your mother requested for the what did she request for? Request for the carpet and this carpet. This one. Why have you torn it like that? I think the day we placed it was still very good. You have been uh, tearing with your school shoes. <laughs> and the what? You're, you're pointing. Unajua you're not speaking. You're just pointing. You know you are in secondary school. You need to be speaking English. Ama uko mnaongea Kikuyu? Kiswahili. Unaongea Kiswahili? Secondary school. Yes. Oh. All right. So she requested for this one. And even the the the, the kitambo vya vya They are called sofa set cover. Yeah. Ndio. Yeah. And a table cloth. Eh? Yes. Yeah, because those are the things that I uh, was asked. Eh? Okay, there's a time uh, one wanted to tile this house, but um The owner of the house we did not meet and discuss. But um, I don't know. I don't know she didn't want this house to be tiled because you know if we had tiles inside here we would you'd not need this one. Yes. But uh, I don't know. We shall still talk with that person if she ag- the person agrees to do the tiling. I think we can just uh, I'll now how to visit the owner of the house in his place. Eh? so that we can agree whether it can be done or not. Sawa sawa. Mama je? Tuko tunasema kuna siku Felix alikuja hapa akaomba kuwa upewa vitamba. Ya viti. Na hii ya kutandika chini. Kitamba ya kutandika chini. Au hii carpet. Sio ya meza. Kitamba ya meza na ya viti na hii ya chini. Ah. 
Mbona yeye alisikia vitatu basi nitamkumbusha. Nitamkumbusha nisikie. Yeah. So anyway guys, asante. So this is the bike that by the someone wanted to know to see this bike. You know when you have been working out toward this bike, they never knew you bought a bike. They, they, you want to ride so that they see. You want to bring it close. <laughs> yes, there. So he bought a very good bike. This is a second hand, eh? You bought it from someone. Oh. So you need to get it uh, that there's a seat that you can put here, isn't it? So, and uh, something that also you need to work on is this one. I wish we had work on uh, Saturday. You'd maybe be working toward this one. Saturday, I will be in school for... Exam. This Saturday. Okay, I wish, I wish one of the Saturday and Sunday we have something you can get. Because you need a tire and other things. Mm. But these are very hard bicycles. I usually see you when you're taking that corner in your bohans. Huh? <laughs> I hope it's helping, eh? But thank you so much for purchasing this one. This one, it showed people that you are very hard working. If you could save to buy to buy a bicycle, that is why maybe people love this family. What is the mother thinking? You see, she's thinking a lot. Do you have food in the house? Uh, only maize. You have maize only. So if you have maize, you what are you going to eat? You, to, you are going to roast them up. Fancy. Uh -huh. and buy some food. Okay. Like food, like like skuma. Like skuma. But she does not eat skuma. Sometimes we choose to get money mm. for the neighbors to ask for the events and food mm. like chicha. Mm. Makobe. Yeah, those are vegetables, eh? Yes. All right, all right. So, guys, that is it. You can see if you look at the the look of that lady, you can see she's thinking very far, very far. In fact, she's thinking a lot. Eh? I don't know. So, I was asking Joel why why she's thinking like that. So she's saying that uh, they only have maize. Maize, how many? How many sacks? How many gunias? One. Uh, so this, this your mother is a very good. She can keep food. Mm, she can keep food. So you never know. So that means you don't have vegetable this evening. All right. So if I give you fifty, Bob, will you buy omena? You have cooking oil. You don't have. So if you give you omena fifty, Bob, how will you eat omena with the ugali? It'll boil. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So that is it. I wanted to visit this family. Remember the Mama Felisa? She's in the hospital. This one, she was also in the hospital. She was being treated the wound. So that is the reason why I decided today to pass by, to know how they're doing. And what is really helping these families is the insurance card or do people register them. So all my appreciation and great, I'm grateful for what that you're doing. Yes, so people are surviving because of your help. Uh, people are living because of all your savings or only hard money that you people are donating to these families. So God bless you. Let me sort out that issue of supper here. Because uh, sometimes we have to play part. Thank you so much. From joy, you just work hard, my friend. There's nothing like bye-bye. Just work hard. Awesome. Yeah, so by the end of this uh, term, we need to see your result. Remember, your mother is usually very happy when you pass. So get a grade to university so that we dance around. Eh? All right. Shida, Mama Joy, Mbona unafikiria mbalis. That is pretenders. You can see she's thinking a lot. So bye-bye, guys.